Well, it can be tough to see how things are cooking when the light bulb in the oven burns out, right? And then it's a scramble to figure out which bulbs to buy for specific appliances. Oh, yeah, <laughs> just how to get the light bulb out. In today's <laughs> Getting Results at Home segment, new six anchor Eric Von Anken goes to Candy's Home in Palm Bay to give her a hand and replace the bulb for just $3. Candy! Hi, Eric! Very nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, Candy, you just moved here from Wisconsin. Yes, I did. I had a house built and here we are. Beautiful, brand new house. Congratulations and welcome. Thank you got a surprise, though, when you first tried to use your oven. Yes, I did. It. Um, I went to uh, hit the light button one night. It dings, but no light comes on. Your oven or even your fridge light, your bulb, has burned out. You want to replace it. But which one do you get? How do you know what's going to fit? If you can find the model number of the appliance, you can easily find out which bulb you need. In Candy's fridge, it's printed right on the inside of the door. I'm looking all over this thing, trying to find a tag, but apparently newer appliances only have this, a QR code, which I guess I'm supposed to scan. And then once you have the model number, you can look up the instruction manual or you can just Google the type of bulb that'll fit. The other option, the one I like better because you can't go wrong, is take your old bulb and bring it here. There are lots of different bulbs here at Ace and Oviedo, as you can see. There's LED, there's incandescent, there's halogen. That's why it really helps if you can bring your old bulb. But if not, store manager Kevin is usually pretty good at pointing you in the right direction. Kevin, first we should tell folks there is a standard type bulb in case you have no idea. Yes, sir, there is. It's a 40 watt appliance bulb. The other thing we should tell folks is the word appliance. Make sure you get a specific appliance bulb. And the reason for that is? It's because they're glass. You ain't got to worry about them melting in there on you. Don't want to cook your new bulb. Right. All right, we're going to give this one a shot. No, but before we can screw in the new light bulb, we have to unscrew the light bulb cover at the back of the oven. Now we figure out how many news guys it takes to screw in a light bulb. Thanks, Jeff. The bulb might be burnt out. Here's our old bulb, here's our new bulb, and look, we got it right. <laughs> All right, now before we push the button, I'm gonna get Candy over here. All right, Candy, I'm gonna let you do the honors. I feel like this is a game show. So yeah. Push that button. It's on. Ah, Excellent. You Thank got you. Results. For, you got results. Wasn't that bad? No, it was easy for me. <laughs> yeah, for, certainly for Candy it was. And remember, if you want us to tackle a project in your house, send me an email at gettingresultsathome at wkmg.com. And next week, we might just show up at your house. For now in Palm Bay, I'm Eric Von Agen, Getting Results at Home, News 6.